So now that all the water is drained, I'm going to go ahead and put in the ADA soil. And as you see, as you can see, I've kind of moved all the fluorite rock uh, towards the back of the aquarium. I've done this because I really wanted to to just put the ADA soil in the front, primarily for the baby tears. And I did this because in the back, the uh, uh, Ludwidia is going to be growing in the back, and the baby tears will start growing a carpet towards the front of the aquarium. Uh, but of course, baby tears grow so rapidly under good lighting, which I'll have uh, pretty soon, and um, they uh, they spread out really, really quickly. So even if they do grow over uh, onto the other substrate, not just the ADA soil, it won't be a big deal. Uh, but of course, I did actually cover uh, the entire surface with the ADA soil. I just did this in the beginning because you're going to see about, here in about uh, about 30 seconds that. I actually um, just spread the ADA soil all around to really ensure that you know it covers um, the entire top portion of uh, the fluorite substrate. Um, I did this because I didn't want to have you know like two sections of different substrates. I pretty much wanted it to just look the same. Um, but as you'll see at the end of the video, I did kind of accidentally mix a uh, mix up the substrate a little bit, so you do kind of see the fluorite still. Uh, but I don't think it matters, you know and uh, I think you know the plants will still do great and uh, people have recommended that that you know you don't do this so you don't mix two substrates together but honestly uh, even in the directions they recommend that you mix uh, a type of power sand that they sell and it, they they said that it has lava rock in the power sand so if lava rock is in the power sand that they recommend that you use underneath the actual aqua soil I really don't think that you know, doing this with fluorite will be a big deal because fluorite is practically the same thing. It, it's, you know, pretty much similar to uh, to lava rock. So now we're done here. Uh, the tank is completely filled up. Here's an inside shot. Pretty cool. Uh, good thing I didn't get my camera dirty. <laughs> so uh, yeah, did a good job on this, I think. All right. So I drained all the water and I filled my aquarium with the ADA soil. Uh, in the front and then kind of pushed a little bit to the back to kind of cover everything and uh, surprisingly one nine liter bag filled uh, the aquarium pretty good you know um, I can't say for sure that one nine liter bag would work well for a 50 gallon tall uh, because I do already have substrate in there um, but I can say that honestly with one bag you probably could get at least a little a little over an inch of coverage on the uh, bottom of the tank but then again, it's kind of hard to say because, I mean, all tanks are different. And But if you do, for some reason or by chance, have the same tank that I have, you know, you're in luck because now you know that one 9-liter bag can probably do it for you. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually, or we, why do I keep saying we? It's I. Now I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to fill back up the tank just a little bit so that the soil is moist. You do not, li listen to me when I say this, okay? You do not want to fill up your tank all the way with water and then start planting. That is just not how you do it with ADA soil, okay? If you do that, your aquarium water will be so cloudy you won't be able to see anything for weeks. So please listen to me when I say this, okay? So I'm gonna fill it up just a little bit so the soil is moist and then we're gonna start planting. Or I'm gonna start planting. I have to stop saying we. <laughs> and something you can do also before you actually fill the aquarium with water you can just spray uh, the uh, ADA soil just with a little garden mister. Uh, that way, when you do fill it up with water, stuff doesn't start floating everywhere automatically because it's already really light. Uh, if you get this, you, uh, if you spray the soil with this, you can already get it moist and it'll kind of hold its place a little bit better. So now I'm going to use my return pump from my wet dry filter to pump back the water that I saved from uh, the time when I took out all the water from the tank. Um, I'm going to do this the best I can uh, without disturbing the ADA soil. And I don't think I showed it in the video, but I actually did uh, put a little rock that I had on top of the soil, and that's where I let the water uh, you know, fall onto. 
That way it would fall into the rock and not disturb the ADA soil. Um, I know I've said this over and over again, you know, but you really got to make sure that you do not disturb the soil when you are uh, filling up your aquarium or planting uh, the tank if you do fill it up a little bit more than, than you should. Uh, really what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to actually just mist the, the soil so it's soft but usually when you do this it's kind of hard to plant plants just like that so most of the time you're supposed to use a, a powder type uh, aqua soil on the top of uh, the actual regular aqua soil uh, which would make it easier to plant when the soil is just um, moist and as you can see right here I had a little bit of trouble planting baby tears so I'm just gonna put a little rock on there and uh, allow the baby tears to gradually grow into the uh, substrate and uh, I ordered five more little pots so uh, should have a nice carpet pretty soon so as you can see behind me uh, the tank is officially completed as far as substrate uh, I can't wait till my lighting gets here I just it's gonna make such a big you know impact on my plants so uh, but for right now uh, everything is done the uh, ADA soil is in there uh, Amazonia the new Amazonia soil is in there and uh, I planted the baby tears. I didn't actually, um, as you probably saw in, uh, earlier in the video, uh, I didn't actually plant them. I just pretty much set them on top and I'm going to let them do their thing and, uh, you know, develop the root system in the soil. I'm not going to punch them into the uh, uh, substrate. And uh, the reason why I did that was because it was hard enough, you know, trying to get the rock wool off of them that, that they were, you know, potted in when, when I got them. So I figured it would do more damage if I, you know, cut them up into pieces, which I know that's primarily what you're supposed to do with, with uh, baby tears, but I didn't want to take the chance to ruin it because they are kind of expensive. I mean, I think I paid like, um, around like 13 bucks to have this mailed to me, you know, along with, uh, all the other stuff I got. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to mess them up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're in there and uh, all the plants are in there. The ones that were in there before, they're in the back. Um, I did kind of throw away a couple of the Ananarchus plants. I only left one in there because I really don't like them. And I think it kind of takes away from, uh, you know, the theme because they're like the only ones in there. So uh, I'm just going to keep the plants that are in there right now. That's primarily what's going to be in there for uh, a long time. And, uh, of course, once the baby tears uh, develop a big carpet, you know, baby tears, it'll look a lot better too. I hope you uh, like this video and, uh, you know, I hope you subscribe to my channel and everything. I really appreciate everybody that watches my videos. It really means a lot to me. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll be back uh, with another video about my lighting system. And also I'll be making a, a helpful tip video about uh, CO2 because there's some things that you guys need to know as far as the right uh, materials to buy and tubing and things like that to properly uh, use the CO2 uh, system with your aquarium. So stay tuned for those videos. But thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.